Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebel Galaxy. I'm 4040 and we're going to be continuing our let's play of this fun little game that I'm actually spending quite a lot of my personal time just playing around in. Now I've not done any of the main missions, we're picking up exactly where we left off, we've got a secret meeting to go and do. Uh, the only things that I have been doing uh, at the moment is just running lots of side missions. So I've run a few missions for the Merchant Guild, and my Merchant Guild rating is up to 2, because the best ship I can find in this star system is a uh, Merchant's ship, which is uh, upgrade to base this ship. It's faster than this ship, it's got more guns, it's got more It's got more of everything. It's a, it's a straight upgrade, and I like straight upgrades. There are other ships which have more turrets, but they're like a side grade to this ship. But this uh, merchant ship I'm looking at, I, we might have a look at in a bit. But um, we've got some missions to get on with because I'm kind of butting up against. Yeah. Uh, we're butting up against the uh, mission. Uh, where are we going? He's going to this one. We're butting up against the the mission thing where I've. I've unlocked as much as I can in the shops, and the more missions you do, the more stuff gets unlocked in the shops. So we're going to go and do a load of primary missions and see if we can unlock a load of stuff. Currently, there's a load of alien races uh, attacking a load of the stations. I'm going to be ignoring most of them in this recording episode, but it might cause a bit of a problem. We might have to run a blockade and, and clear them out. And they're some pretty big ships, they can be a bit sketchy. But I quite like uh, a kiting style of play, where you kind of get a few enemies aggroed, pull them away from the pack, and then unload on them, and if it's a big ship, just go broadside. I've managed to find, um, just randomly, a, uh, a it's almost like a, an elite drop. It's a level 2 broadside, but it's a special kind of broadside that's named, and it's a lot more powerful than the standard uh, level 2 broadside. So at the moment we're rocking this, so we do a hell of a lot of damage up close. Uh, when it's versus big ships, I tend to just park next to them, and uh, offload, and just kill them within a matter of about... They're probably dead in about 10 seconds, to be honest. And I just have to hold on long enough. I've got as good as shields and as hull as I can currently get, so at the moment we're just kind of coasting along doing missions, gaining money. So, let's get on with the storyline missions and have some fun. So let's visit the bar. Yep. Let's talk to Xenia. Still breathing, I see. Keep going down this road, and you may not be for much longer. Duh, I can look after myself. So what did you Here's find? Here's the lay of the land. We've intercepted enough transmissions to confirm that Juno's being held, but she's a wanted criminal in this sector. Nothing too heavy, but hardly someone that the militia wants to be seen liberating. So that's it? I didn't say that. It can't be public, but we do have an interest. The problem here is that things aren't going to move fast. And if you want Juno to have all her fingers when we bust her out, then fast is exactly what you need. Okay, so what do you want to do? it looks like you're well outfitted enough for us to make a move right away. <laughs> Damn First right order I am. of business is to find out where she's being held. That means we need a rat. Okay. We've recently located a double jack drug refinery. We're going to turn that rock over and watch the roaches scurry. Once we flush them out, we should be able to collar someone with real inside information. All right, I'm up for All that. Right. That sounds fun. Here's the info. We'll meet you there. Okay. Cool. Well, that's that's that then. So let's let's quickly get out of here and do a refinery assault, which should be uh, fun, hopefully. <laughs> right. Come on, Garrett. Yeah. Sometimes Garrett doesn't survive full uh, the uh, assault missions that I'm doing, but. Uh, He'll, I generally just rehire him because he's worth it. He's really good at picking off other ships. There are other mercenaries that you can get, and they are more expensive, but they're generally in bigger, slower ships, and I like using Garrett to help pick off the small, annoying ships. I've been clearing out the, there's been a war, there's the, another, another race uh, has been blockading at stations, and they, stations don't trade if they're blockaded, and you've got a very small amount of time. Uh, to stop the invasion, you get if you don't keep an eye on the news and look at the invasions, you end up with like half of the systems, half of the stations getting uh, kind of blockaded, and then I have to spend about an hour going around each station, and you end up fighting a whole load of big big ships. Right, let's kill something. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kite around. Take 
take out the big platform. Hands will be fine. We'll have to punch through those shields before we can do any real damage. <laughs> Port shields down. Collision warning. Alright, let's just deal with these guys. I'm going to chase this guy down. This will be a lot easier if we can pin them out. Don't worry, I'm gonna kill the turret, it's fine. This can't be happening! Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> uh, right, let's have some, some small gunships heading in there, they should be a problem. Just look at them exploding. Let's have some more gunships are powerful. Gunships are really tough, they're garrison guys. If you get swarmed by a lot of gunships, they'll give you problems. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's just now, now, now. Right, let's take that before the black ones. Incoming hostile craft. Target destroyed. Enemy craft inbound. Bounty detected. Run down. Threat level orange. Collision warning. Craft inbound. Okay. Wow, this is one hell of a mission. Yellow. Collision warning. Missile inbound. Son of a. Okay, so what have we got? We've got some small ships, and that's them on that side. Move into attack. Bounty detected. Okay, cool. And there's nothing. It just seems to be in a big ring. I'm just gonna go around the ring, I think. I'm gonna go around the roses almost. Whoa! That ought to do it. Now comes the fun part. Meet me back at the bar, and I'll give you the details. Mission complete. Huh? Oh, they killed one of the. All right. They actually blew the station up. Wow! Maybe you can kill stations. That's, got that's, that's pretty cool. Alright. Also, uh, we're not getting anything else for dealing with any more of this stuff, so let's just jump out. They blew up a whole station. Fucking hell. That was pretty good. Okay, let's go meet back up at the bar. And. Yeah, let's go meet up at the bar and let's see what she's got to say. There's only a few bad guys there, so I'm sorry it's more than this. So we've got to track all the way back to the bar. Um, so... Yeah, she... She wants us to meet back at the bar, and then uh, we've got to find a rat. So I'm interested to see how that's going. As far as this game's going, uh, what I've been doing is just doing a whole load of uh, missions. I've got my trade rank... Uh, where are we? Yeah, my trade rank is now 3. And I want to get trade rank 4, but I also need a couple of million credits to get the ship I want. As far as I can tell, um, yeah, I need to go through these main storylines before I can unlock uh, bigger missions. What is this? What's this? What's going on here? Get everything. It was a distress beacon. It wasn't a trap or am I going to listen to somebody? Sorry! Sorry, Garrett! You're tearing me apart! Heh <laughs> heh, dead. And he gave me 2,000 credits. Nice! And citizenry has been increased. That's pretty cool. So you've got the um, different kinds of rankings at the moment, and if I can get out of here, I can show you guys the rankings. And just change what? Uh, that's why we're doing that. So this tells me my Merchant Guild rank up in the top left corner. Now the Merchant Guild rank uh, is different to the citizenry, the rankings which are on the right hand side, because they, they're a sliding bar, whereas the, the Merchant Guild ranking system is just a straight number. And I paid a uh, thousand to join the Merchant Guild, I think, or ten thousand. I can't remember. It's not much, 
not much once you're into the game. But once you join the Merchant's Guild, you've then got access. There's one Merchant Guild station, but once you buy into it, you can go into that station and there's new stuff that you can purchase. Uh, there's specialised uh, specialised um, cargo holds. Some of the cargo holds are shielded. Uh, there's new special merchant ships. And um, the one I've been looking at appears to be the best selection for what I want because it's everything is better. It's better in every way than this ship. Whereas some of the other ships are like better in some ways but not in every way. So it's it's more like a direct upgrade. Okay, stock up and see what she's got to say for herself. Right, let's let's just repair up. May as well. Uh, it's not much. Because uh, the other option at this millions price bracket is the Vanguard or the Manticore, and out of the two, the van uh, out of the three, the the traded one uh, is the one that I like the sound of better because it's got less flaws. Right, let's talk to Zonia. Glad you made it back in one piece. Lucky for Juno, it looks like our little plan is going to work. The Double Jack are scrambling, and that's exposing high-value targets. We've got intel on a series of flight groups all moving fast. And so much fighter cover, we know they're worth the hit. Okay, so how do we know which one's so take on? We them as they come until we find what we need, and split up to improve our chances. These flight groups are in motion, so after you've intercepted one, if you're still empty-handed, I'll feed you updated coordinates for another group. Okay. If you can get one of their captains to surrender, that's great. But an escape pod works just as well. We need a warm body for interrogation. You bring them back alive, and we'll take care of the rest. Alright. Good luck. After all this is said and done, maybe you should consider a career in the militia. Sweet! I'm gonna pay I'm gonna happily join the militia as well as the merchant girl, because the militia I haven't seen the militia ships yet. Um so I'm really interested in finding out what they're like. Alright, let's go. Let's go do some shit. Okay, so let's find out where she wants me to go. Where's the mission? So this is the okay, let's go over there then. I'm glad she's currently using stations that aren't under siege as well. I don't know if that's a direct storyline mechanic, like so they don't lock you out uh, of doing the main mission. But it'd be quite interesting if the main mission target moves into a station that's currently locked out and you've got to defeat quite a big fleet around it. Because it forces you, that will then, if you weren't equipped to force it to go away, do a load of side missions, interact with the game more, do some mining, get some money, upgrade your ship, and then go back and clear it out and have to do the main mission, so... Yeah, interested to see what that's like too. Anyway, we've got to go blow shit up. I'm... To be honest, I like blowing shit up. I am probably not going to tell them to surrender. I'm probably just going to shoot it up. Because what, why wouldn't you? If they're going to spit out an escape pod, I'm happy with that. Right. Come up here. Go. Find the rock. We are approaching the coordinates. I am detecting larger craft with heavy ballistic weaponry. Craft level yellow. Okay, so we've got. This isn't too bad for the moment, and I haven't seen anything particularly huge around. There's some bigger ships. Oh, I've seen them over there as well. Doing okay though. We're pretty much one shot in everything. This is getting right. too hot for me. Yeah, okay. I won't forget this. I am just gonna well on you. You're gonna go down really quickly. There we go. <laughs> Drop no luck. Here's another waypoint to try. We'll have to move fast. Okay, 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 I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Is that it? Okay, no problem, that was it. Okay, let's go, go, go. Collision warning. Let's let's get on with these shit. I wanna progress, I wanna make some really good progress. I wanna find my auntie. Exiting satellite. Come on. Let's go. Accelerating to sublight. 
There we go. So these missions are a little bit like uh, the Pirate Lord missions, which have also started popping up. They're like a, a very short timed event, which a uh, Pirate Lord will travel uh, from one station to another. And if you can intercept them, and they usually have lots of bodyguards, you'll get a decent payout. You'll get like 30 something plus thousand. And obviously the Pirate Lords, if you go into different sectors, they'll scale with the difficulty of the sectors. Uh, the game is still currently keeping me in Sector 1. I haven't travelled outside of Sector 1, but I'm still finding it, you know, relatively comfortable. Um, now I've, I mean, I've hit a head, headroom with this particular ship. I can't improve it any further, which I'd like to. So hopefully doing all of these sort of Doryline missions will. Right, torpedo board. What have we got? Ah, uh, it's not too bad. Lots of small ships. I won't forget this. Uh, he didn't drop anything, so there might be someone somewhere else. Engines at maximum. Yeah, there's another torpedo mod in there. I'm just going to go through the big ships. Ah, uh, there's some Talia Trap there as well. Missiles inbound. Fuck you, missiles. Window engage. And I just don't know. Am I done? Engines at maximum. Haha. Ordnance great. Get some ordnance. Okay. Kill the Talia Trap. I'm dead. So... There's a lot of mines here as well. Alright, that's of course. Right, there we go. Some over there as well. Talia went down there. What else we've got? Another Italia in there. Another... Fire waste. Nothing yet. We've seen some action, but... No big scores. Here's another set of coordinates. Okay, let's go. I'm not interested in picking on the small prize. Oh. Well, if he comes at me, <laughs> he blew that back up. Oh, Jesus. Mining laser's too OP. Well, not too OP. They're stupidly short ranged. So this is. Unlike a sniping ship where you can neglect certain aspects, a sniping ship has to be fast and have long range weapons. This is a brawling ship. So, it has to be fast, it has to be tanky, and have really good short range weapons. Because the faster get in, the faster get out. Because if you're just going and wailing on one target, they're running like hell. Then, that's the tactic I've been using. So I've got as good an upgrade on all my stuff as I can. Let's see what's out here. Right level, yellow. You guys are not part of the mission. No, Garrett, leave him alone. Leave him alone, man. I don't need to attack them. There's probably a bounty on that really big ship, but the bounty's probably also tiny, so... Still loving the music. Ah, oh, so good. <laughs> I bought the albums uh, to this music actually. Uh, they're not going to publish them as uh, their own album because they're owned by various different publishers. But uh, you can buy several mixes which have all of these new songs on them already. Uh, one's called Garage Blues and the other one's called. Um, I can't remember what the other one's called. There's two albums. But it's just got most of the songs in this game as tracks on them. I'll dig them out. I'll probably tell you in the next recording if I remember to. Wow, this guy's a long way out. I've upgraded the uh, warp drive so much as possible. Very large vessel. Perhaps this one will meet Senya's criteria. Holy shit, that's a lot. Threat level orange. Sure you right, the one causing so much trouble. What the? Missiles in inbound. As you can see, I'm in a bit of trouble. If you're good, use your help. Okay. Incoming hail. 
Right, let's just get this big guy. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna sit behind him so I can avoid him on all sides. Cut down on how much DPS he's gonna get. Do. The only thing he can shoot me with is is his missiles. Bing! Double jack, Captain. Come here, mister. You. Yeah. Gonna put you in a brig. Throw away the key. Got one? Great. Meet me at the station. We'll take it from there. Yes. Don't worry. They'll talk. Engines at maximum. Mission complete. Traders can deal with one of them shit. There we go. <laughs> they did. <laughs> okay, back to the, the uh, station. Although we're quite a way out. Quite a very long way out. Um, I still don't. I don't. I don't. I don't trust that little alien guy who's really dodgy who tried to take the AI off me uh, saying that it's only a little bauble and it's probably not worth much but he'd take it off me for us and he'd pay me well for it I don't trust that little fucker I still I really do reckon I still reckon that he's the one that's sending people after me and is feeding the bad guys information I could be wrong but he is shifty as hell plus the AI on my ship she uh, she records he's lying as well, so the ga the game's definitely dropping some serious hints that uh, there's something not right with him. But uh, yeah, fair enough. Let's stock up. Find out what she's got to say. You know, it's amazing what you can accomplish with a little pressure applied in just the right spot. Your rat turned so fast that we were honestly a little disappointed. So you know Regina's being held? It's a larger facility in an asteroid belt. Lots of debris obscuring it from scanners. Your rat says she's still alive and in one piece. I'm sort of amazed they haven't squeezed something out of her yet. Okay, uh, what has she got if you on? I told you, I'd have to kill you. Kidding. But seriously, something we can't have in the wrong hands. And Juno's just gonna sprint. Yeah, is she really just gonna turn it over to you? That's where you come in. Your family. Persuade her to do the right thing, so we don't have to do the wrong one. Oh, did you just threaten me? Eh, I don't even. But that's why I'm relying on your good sense. Don't prove me wrong. None of this matters unless we break her out door. So let's get back to the plan. Mm. All of a sudden, you're dodgy. I don't the like it. The is shielded by exterior generators. We won't be able to punch through until we've disabled them. So we'll attack them first, taking out any fighter cover and clearing the way. Then troop transports will approach and dock with the unshielded main structure. Okay. We'll be defending those transports and taking care of anything else they send at us. Once we have Juno, we all hightail it and everyone lives happily ever after. All right, I'm up for that. I knew you would be. I sent you the location. Let's go. Actually, let's... Uh... Let's leave the bar. Is there anything I can upgrade my ship with? No. Quick no. Oh, this is the broadside I've got. Electro bolt, 72 DPS with 36 damage. Uh, what have we got? The Mark II proton cannon, better, but it's lower DPS. Tachyon cannon, high DPS but lower damage. Pulse cannon, level two, good mid range. The only thing positive on that is it's got 1.25 second charge time versus 1.5. So it's hardly anything at all. Okay, so we've got a massive ass mission to run. After doing after doing all that running around, we've got a really cool looking mission to run. So what I'm gonna do is call this I'm gonna call this uh yeah, let's gonna call this recording to a close. Uh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue the recording. So stay tuned guys, uh, these are going to be uploaded relatively close to each other. But we're going to run this uh, rescuing Juno mission. So uh, I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye now. Thanks for watching.